spoke with House Majority Leader Eric Cantor about an hour ago about the back and forth over extending the payroll tax cut. Now, I don't blame people for being frustrated, but what, what the House Republicans are trying to do is say, look, we are willing to stay here to work to give the working people of this country some certainty as far as what their taxes are going to be like next year and to provide a one-year guarantee that their taxes are not going to go up. You know, the Senate passed a bill uh, that was a 60-day bill, uh, and frankly, word has come out now from some of the experts that it's an unworkable bill. You know, here's the National Payroll Reporting Consortium, uh, people who understand what payroll uh, means and how to implement these changes and say it's really an unworkable and untenable thing. And so we're trying to do the right thing, and there's really no reason why uh, the House, the Senate, the President can't stay in town and provide a workable solution so that the hardworking people of this country know their taxes are not going to go up for next year. Well, wasn't there any communication with House leadership and Senator McConnell in the Senate when this was moving through the Senate side? Well, you know, the Senate, um, you know, they, they you know, look to Harry Reid to sort of bring up what it is that uh, he wants the Senate to vote on as, as its leader. Uh, and, you know, the House has consistently taken a position uh, that we believe we can do better. Uh, we believe uh, that what is best is to provide certainty and to make sure that the payroll tax holiday is extended for a year. The President has said he's in favor of that. Uh, the Senate, frankly, House, uh, Senate Republicans and Democrats have said that. So there's really no reason why we can't do that. And but you know, the vote was 89-10 and included 39 Republicans. So, I mean, somebody didn't get the message that that was a bad idea. Well, I mean, listen, the, the Senate Republicans were only given one option to vote on, and that was Harry Reid's choice to bring that up. So the original reporting that Speaker Boehner initially trumpeted the deal Saturday, is that false? You know, the, John Boehner and I have always been on the same page. We are for a year's extension of the payroll tax holiday. Uh, we believe that's the right thing. And frankly, as we approach Christmas, I think we owe it to the American people uh, to, to actually demonstrate that we can produce results. You know, there's really, people are tired of excuses of things we can't do. So is there a possibility that now that if, if you go to conference, let's say, uh, that the Keystone provision is somehow jettisoned and able to, in order to get a one-year payroll tax cut extension? No, I, I, think, I think that issue has been resolved. I think that uh, the President um, and others have been willing to say, okay, uh, there are 60 days in which he has to decide whether to allow that project to go forward. We believe it is a great project to promote jobs in this country as well as to help our energy security, and hopefully that will be disposed of uh, in the right way. So from a leadership perspective, is it okay for the GOP leadership to have votes where more, rep more Democrats vote for something than Republicans to well, get through? Well, this is certainly not the case on this bill. I mean, the, the, the situation we have at hand is from the House perspective, we have over 218 votes for the House position. Uh, and what you will see happen um, is that the House will reject the Senate position as unworkable, as something not fair to working families and taxpayers. And then we will posit, you know, a position where I think all of us can come together, we can reach a compromise as to how to implement this and then give the people of the country and the hardworking people what they deserve. But let's say Friday, for the government shutdown vote, you lost 86. Um, back, you lost 101 Republicans last month for the minibus to fund the government going forward. My point is, is you have a, a part of your party that isn't buying into the compromise. They want to hold the line. Uh, and is that a problem for you as, as leaders of this caucus? Well, you know, I, I think that some of the frustration exists because, you know, we're not getting as far as we like if you're talking about, you know, reducing spending, if you're talking about implementing pro-growth tax policies. And the reality is we have a divided government here. Uh, we have come to Washington to affect real change. That's often difficult. But I think what you're going to see on this payroll tax holiday extension is you're going to see Republicans united uh, behind trying to do the right thing and asking the President and the Senate to stay in town so we can work this out uh, and so that no working person in America can face a tax increase for the rest of the next year. An interesting week. Majority Leader Cantor, thanks so much for your time. Brett, thank you.